All right guys, how you doing? So this video is gonna be the last in the little three part series of when we went to Sandy Hills next. And this is just gonna be a montage of the crawlers. Later on after the montage, I wanna have a little chat with you guys about some requests that I've been getting recently. And I wanna sort of get your you guys take on it and sort of, you know, I wanna, I wanna see what you guys think before I sort of go ahead and I sort of do anything. So enjoy and watch the montage first. And then if you're interested, if you stay towards the end, guys, have a little look to see what I've got to say. So enjoy the video. mean the world to me if you could just smash that subscribe button if you like my content you want to see more make sure that you subscribe otherwise you might never see me again and you're going to miss out on a load of great content we've got the e revo we've got the udr we've got the slash we've got rustler we've got x maxes i've got, even got a full-size monster truck that i'm building here so if you guys if you guys don't smash that subscribe button you might be missing out on all of it and by the way thank you so much guys to get to the hundred thousand subscriber mark that really it does mean too well to me. I really didn't think we'd get there this soon, but we've done it together. We've done it as a team. So thank you so much to everybody on board. My next goal now is to try and hit a million. I never thought it would be possible, but now I can see light at the end of the tunnel. All right, so I've got some more footage. Let's get into some more rock corner action.
car. So if you want to know more about the RC car that we're using in this video, here it is right here. It's a Traxxas TRX4. At the moment, it's running these Chinese alloys with some Super Swamper Boggers by Proline. The rest of the truck is pretty much bog standard with the exception of a Castle Mamba X system. And if you check out some of my other videos, you'll see this beast being ran on 6S. And oh my God, guys, that thing goes. For the request as you guys know one of my businesses is making online courses my first course was the ebay course that i made i made another course which is a free ebay course at the moment i'm working on a rc basher survival guide which is like another sort of rc course and really put a ton of work into this i've put over a month's worth of work into it already it's still not finished i'm, I'm keep putting more and more videos in there more and more content uh, but one of the requests i've been getting quite a lot recently is Kev, can you make a course about how to do YouTube? But I don't know if I should. The thing is, with the RC Basher course, I've been bashing since I was 10 years old. I'm 37 now, so 27 years I've been bashing. I've got a lot of friends in the industry. I've had the model shop. I know a lot of guys from like, suppliers and manufacturers and stuff. I've got a lot of friends that sort of in the hobby and been in the hobby for a very long time. So I kind of feel that if I make a course, I kind of sort of know a little bit what I'm talking about and I'm teaching you guys sort of real life experience. So 27 years of my experience and other people's experience that I can put into this course and I can put everything in there and I can sort of feel happy to sell the course knowing that you're going to get such an amazing value. And the same with the eBay. You know, I've put thousands and thousands into learning eBay. I've made so many mistakes. I've been doing eBay for sort of four or five years now and I've kind of built that up to a business now where it sort of makes me over 100 grand a year. So I kind of feel that I sort of know a little bit about business and that I know enough to sort of teach you guys what's required in sort of doing eBay and get you guys going to, to sort of make money. And that sort of sits good with me because, you know, what I'm talking about, I sort of feel like I do kind of know a thing or two when it comes to selling on eBay. But when it comes to YouTube, I'm at roughly 100,000 subscribers now, which is great and I'd really really appreciate every single one of you guys that sort of means a lot I never thought I'd get this far so quickly I kind of had it as a goal to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year and I sort of got there halfway through the year and I really can't be any more grateful but with that said I still don't see 100,000 subscribers as being enough of a subscriber base for me to be able to sort of teach you guys and make a course around you know I don't feel like I sort of I'm in a position where I know enough to make a course yet. I mean, you guys, I said, I'll oh, make a course. Show, show us how you film. Show us how you make your videos. Show us how you edit. Show us how, you know, on the RC cars, how you do it. Show us how you get more subscribers. You know, show us how you make your montages, all that stuff. But 
To be fair, guys, I, I feel like I'm winging it. I feel like I've just kind of just winged it up until now. I don't really feel like I know what I'm doing yet. I've not really tested much, really. I've kind of just had this as a channel for fun, and I've really just been sort of uploading stuff what I enjoy doing. And I've, I've not really, for the most part, I, I don't really try and focus on doing videos for views. I do video, videos of stuff that I enjoy doing, and I enjoy editing them, and I kind of edit the video in a way that I enjoy watching them. And that's, that's kind of worked sort of, I don't know, it's, it's, it has kind of worked out, but it doesn't feel like I've done it through skill, it doesn't, it just feels like I've kind of winged it. So I've kind of said to myself, if I can get to a million subscribers, then I could be in a position of where I feel like I may be more of a person of authority, and I feel more comfortable of actually building a course to show you guys exactly how I got there. But to me, 100,000 subscribers, it still feels kind of very amateurish. And it doesn't kind of sit right for me to make a course because it doesn't really feel like I really know what I'm talking about. And, and to make a course about it and to ask money from you guys and, and I'm teaching you something that I don't really know about really, it, it doesn't it doesn't really seem fair. It doesn't, doesn't seem legitimate. It doesn't sit right with me. So guys, you know, I can make some videos. You know, I, I can do... I've made business videos before on this channel and people for the most part don't like it. So I kind of don't really put that sort of stuff on this channel anymore. I can't just put fun stuff on this channel now. But I've made another channel. And if you look in the description, guys, I'm going to put a link to that channel. And it's just a business channel. So if any of you guys are interested and you, and, and you want to take here a bit of my advice of how I've grown my YouTube channel, you know, if enough people want it, then I'll make a few videos. And But, you know, about making a course, guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Shall I wait until I've got more experience and I really know what I'm talking about? Or shall I make something now and do it cheap? I don't know, guys. I don't know. For me, I've, I'm thinking I shouldn't, really. You know, that's, that's just what I feel. So I hope you like this video, guys. We're planning on going out again tomorrow. We're going to go to a local spring, so there's going to be lots of water for the crawlers. We're also planning to hit a couple of skate parks. I'm not sure what RC to take yet, so give me a note in the comments, guys, which RC you want me to take out there tomorrow. So I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button to stay notified. Give me a comment what you think about what we just talked about. Also, check out my business channel. See you soon, guys. Bye. Oh, by the way, someone said in one of my last videos, does the tactical unit body shell fit on a slash 4x4? So, let's have a look. I mean, uh, it, it goes on. The wheel arches seem to line up, not bad. I mean, you probably could lower it down more, but if you look up inside here, you've got the inner fenders or the wheel arches that are kind of in the way. If you took them out, then you could probably get that to sit a little bit lower. I took that back wheel off, that'll sit a little bit lower. And you'd have to probably fit some extended body posts, and then it would probably work. So I hope that helps you out, dude.